Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Colt 25 Twin Airsoft Gun Pack. I got this at Walmart for $20, so each gun would cost $10 if they were sold separately. I believe both of these guns are made out of 100% plastic. I don't believe that they have any metal parts on it because it doesn't boast about metal parts. In this video, I'm sort of going to be comparing these Colt 25s to the full metal Colt 25 that I ordered online. Um, this one cost me uh, $10, so it's the same price as what each one of these would be, except this one's full metal. And I'm not sure if this one's better, this full metal one is better than the plastic ones, because I haven't opened these, because I got them today. I got this one because they're both licensed, and this Colt 25 actually broke. And it's the full metal one's also sort of cheap. But I think it has better parts in it. So I've finally taken it out of its clamshell wrapping. I just realized that it comes with BBs. Actually, I knew that. But it comes with two extra mags. So a total of four magazines. It has some cheap, light BBs here. Some people say that you shouldn't use these. But they actually aren't bad for guns that are only 150 FPS. These are light point twelves, I believe. These ones are point twos, and they're nice. I want to say camouflage. They're almost like military camouflage, except the brown ones and the light ones. They aren't green, but on here they seem green. They're actually gray. So those are pretty cool. There's not too many of them though. All right, so we actually have a working safety up here, which. The full metal one does not have. Um, the trigger feels pretty nice. It's lubricated well. The, this one rattles a little bit. The trigger rattles. Oops. This one also rattles. It has the stickers on the back. Warning, not a toy. 6mm caliber model. Um, it has the Colt logo on the grips, which the other one also has. And I mean the full metal version. What's it like? Okay. Sorry. Um, it has some screw holes right here which make it look pretty bad. Uh, though they aren't terrible. So on the other side of the full metal, um, Colt 25, it looks a lot worse because there's like a really large screw holes where it screws both sides of the guns together. This does have some, like I was just saying, but they aren't that bad. They're pretty small, and it looks pretty realistic. Cool automatic caliber, 25, so nice trademarking and logos, which is a pretty cool part of this gun. If this weren't um, licensed, then I wouldn't have got it. I don't know what that is. It's, it's like a little symbol right here. I don't know really what that is exactly. So right here, um, I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's like a little grip where your hands would go to slide back the um, the slide. So that also will be functional on the real pistol because your hands grip here pretty well. And that's where you pull it back, I guess. Which works well with spring airsoft pistols since they're single action. Um, the bottom right of it is actually cut away so the safety works well. When the safety's on, you can't squeeze the trigger. You also can't take out the magazine. So that's pretty cool. It's basically got the gun locked down. And when you put it on fire, you have to make sure it's all the way down. It can't be in between or else it won't work. But if you put it in between and then squeeze the trigger, then it moves back. So it only locks when it's in safe. So the magazines are a little tricky to take out. You have to really pull them a lot. You have to push this in, take it out. It seems normal, but when I first did it, I sort of pushed it to the side. I don't really know why. It just seemed normal, but since the mags are actually slanted, it's a little odd taking out. Okay, so I just um, shot about three 12 gram BBs at this gel target at the end of my basement. This is about 15 feet away. It didn't hit it um, on the 
first shot it went really high up like maybe six inches away from the target and the second time I hit it, it went six inches away from the target to the upper left so it's not accurate in close quarters so when we go outside I don't think it'll be that well either and the magazine I hold 15 all about 15 or 16 rounds but don't try to squeeze 16 or 17 in because it'll actually like part the plastic right here and it could like rip the magazine and I almost got my eye taken out by one of these BBs because I put too many in and this came shooting out and it missed my eye I was thinking that this magazine could be its own airsoft gun almost okay so when I go outside I'll be shooting also these 12 gram BBs since this gun or these guns only have 150 FPS I thought that would be fine to shoot them with the 12 gram BBs because if we use .2s so and it might be too heavy and it won't go that far. Alright, now I'm going to be shooting at this satellite disc outside. And this is about 20 feet away. Well, no, it's probably 25. And I'm going to see if I can hit it. Okay. It aimed way high up to the left this time. A little bit up to the left. Now I'm aiming below the round part of the satellite disc, so right below it. And I just hit the top. So from 20 or 25 feet away, you're, it aimed about one and a half feet higher than what I, than what I was aiming at. Now I'm going to shoot a couple rounds at this tree, which is about 30 feet away, 30 to 35. Travels pretty slow. And now it's aiming an awful lot to the left, and there's no wind out. If you were going to go into an airsoft door with this, you would have to really um, aim in a different direction than where you're willing to shoot. Because this is a pretty unpredictable gun. You're gonna, if someone was standing at that tree over there, and maybe the person's head would be about right where I'm aiming, You'd have to shoot way at the ground to actually hit the person, even in the head, which is not what you'd want. So you'd have to, like, aim right here in the grass. Let's see if that works. Alright, now it's out. I'm going to try to shoot them at the same time. And one more shot. Okay, so the verdict is, um, these guns are bad for airsoft wars, but they'd be fun for backyard battles since they have such a low FPS. And they're pretty safe. It's a good beginner weapon because it has the safety on it, which is a really good feature. Um, so it's not accurate whatsoever. You have to shoot in a different place, or you have to aim in a different place if you want to shoot at your target. So you're going to have to aim away from your target. Um, shoots pretty slow because it has a low FPS. It doesn't weigh a lot. It's made out of plastic, but it's actually a really fun gun to shoot. 
I like the sound that it makes and it's nicely licensed. It looks really nice. Um, what else? Good color, nice sights on it. Um, I'm going to say out of five stars, I would probably rate this gun a uh, three and a half or a four. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I recommend this to beginners or people who like Colt 25 Airsoft guns. And if you have any questions, just comment.